Well, hello there. Welcome to Double EXP. I'm Nath. I'm Chase. And uh, we're playing this game, Banner Saga. We uh, Banner left Saga. off kind of on a cliffhanger there. We we're got gonna, we got a fight coming in. Yeah, we're gonna go to war. We got a bunch of new recruits. And hold them off. And stuff. Ugh. Charge. What happens if we charge? Our fight is harder, but the rest of the people have an easier fight. Or we could do. Or we could do formations, which means it's balanced. It's an it's a medium fight, but medium for everyone else. Yeah. Or we can, or we can hold them off where it's easiest on us, but harder on everyone else. I mean, this is your call, man. Um, I think we should do a charge. All right, go for a charge. We haven't seen one yet. Let's see. Let's see how hard these get. Yeah. <laughs> This may have been the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we can promote him before we're done. Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. You know what? Let's go all the way on that. Yeah. Yeah. Just all that strength. Yeah. I feel like we should do that with someone else, too. But you need to make sure every single attack he does is that one. <laughs> yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. No, no breaking for him. Dude, we should do the same for him. Oh no, he's no, a he's, he's a shielder. Give, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. He the shield, right? The, yeah, the I mean, we can pump his shield up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. His armor. There we go. He's our tank. All right, here we go. He's our only level three. Yeah, dude. <sighs> he's he's legit though. I really like his return the favor thing. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh god <laughs> what uh, it just hurts my ears is all oh I'm sorry <laughs> uh, these headphones I want to get her like right there each of the big guys has a little guy <sighs> man all those guys with flails I know, I don't know what they do yet, so it's, it's like a struggle. Yeah. Maybe I have I a should... feeling that they're going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Maybe I should just... this is uh, a charge, man. I, I just... should just get up to this guy. Yeah, I think you should kill the big guy first, though, to be honest. Oh! One shot! Okay, they're just ranged. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a... They throw those? Or what? Yeah. Weird. See, they run away. Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's coming into okay. range. Yeah, I think you you might want to... I don't know. There's just so at the many corner. We just have to corner them. Oh, that sounded really freaking cool in my head. <laughs> that was uh. awesome. Uh, God, serious. Oh man. Well, uh, he can't. He can't uh, return the favor on those. On the range ones. Mm -mm. armor yeah oh you think it's worth it to go through the armor oh she's dead yeah because you don't do uh you don't do um what do you call it it like reduces the damage you yeah do. if you don't shatter their armor yeah i'm just wondering if like if if shattering their armor takes this long i'm wondering if it's just, you know, because you have to go through all their armor taking a long time. I'm wondering if it's better to just go through and take the reduction. I see. But I don't know. I was just wondering. I 
I'm not sure either. But that oh. dude takes so much damage. Yeah. Well, he does more to yeah. break armor anyways. Yeah, the people that are good at breaking armor, I think it's a good idea. But the people that suck at it, you might want to try doing the other one instead. If if they're better at the, their attack. Oof. He gone. <laughs> at least these dudes are able to eat through these guys. <laughs> I wish I'd be able to finish it. Yeah, it would have been good. But you just walk right back, so. Over. <laughs> See, I just need to. Uh... Yeah, I know. I know. He's a big boy. Plus, he could summon another. <laughs> Got I feel up. like he might if he's the last one. Oh, Luden's full health, though. Yeah, I would put him up there. I didn't realize. I think I'm going to break it. Just because the faster I break that. Yeah. The um, faster everyone else can help fight back. Man, that guy has a lot of health. Which dude? Uh, the. Is it Hacken? Hacken? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Not got anymore. Three left. Yeah, not anymore, but I'm just saying he's he's tanked a lot. Rally. <clears throat> what does that do? Too well power to any ally. I want to do that. I think. I give Hacken two will power. Yeah. So that he can actually do something on his turn. He doesn't die. <laughs> he just needs five damage. Oh, you got this. Ah, uh, no, no. He can do five of that shield, though. Ooh, it didn't take him out, though. He just it knocked did. back. Yeah, that was that was actually lucky. <laughs> Here we oh, go. He's dead. Oop. Gone. Nice. Oh, we, we need to pull back. <laughs> But we charged in there. Yeah. We only lost two yeah, fighters. That was good. That was 13 good. Yeah. That, that was a good fight. Yeah, for a charge, that was good. I I, I didn't know what a charge would be like, so. That was definitely that was harder than I thought. It was a lot of people, but yeah. I think I think we have a good squad now. Yeah. What in the depths are these, you wonder? Looking at the unusual dread slingers. Nobody knows. Without warning, a deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of brush, throwing itself upon the ox attached to the treasure cart. Surprise Varl pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off slick rock and a sheer drop stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off a cliff. From the end swings a confused ox, still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing for pummeling over the side is Gunolf. One hand white, knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. Crap. Well, Gunolf is our big uh, yeah. Tempest dude. Yeah. Do we knock the dredge off, help Gunolf haul the cart, or tell him to let go? Do we need those supplies? We need supplies. We also... I don't know if we need Gunolf. Uh... Are you proposing two? I think two. Alright. Grab the cart and pull. You barely make any ground when the tree he's holding onto tears from the ground, dragging you with terrifying force towards the edge. How many supplies is it? Is it everything? It doesn't tell me. Oh god. I think we gotta we gotta get everyone in this, man. We can't lose this wagon. Not not after we decided to try to pull it back up. Uh, I just. Uh. Oh, too late. <laughs> Others lunge towards the cart just as it topples over the side. At the last moment, you let go, but Gunolf does not. God, no. <laughs> Crazy old Varl. The cart plummets and flips over rocks along the way, tossing its contents across the snow in a shower of gold and gore. The ox and the dredger torn to shreds, Gunnel flies motionless, his limbs splayed at unnatural angles. 
Following the shock of, shock of Gunnell's death, you find yourself wondering why that dirge went after the ox in the first place. Then you realize the bigger problem is the vast fortune now laying at the bottom of the cliff. Oof. We gotta recover his body. That's, that's like what a responsible leader would do. Like, oh, man. The person's more important than the money. I mean, you, you, you're going to That's what I'm saying. For it. The few options you settle on lowering a man by rope into the valley. He shouts that the battered body is definitely dead, and with their combined weight, the rope won't hold. The gold is scattered across the rocks and too far to reach anyway. You face the fact that it has been a complete loss. A day later, you're back on the march with nothing to show for it. Dang it. There's only one day worth... But we lost Gunolf, man. Oh. And our morale's dropped. That was not a good event. No, that was not. <laughs> I would have to that agree was with so you. bad. <laughs> but man, look at that banner, though. Gunolf's on there. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> oh. Caravan stops, Godstone looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it, and the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it, though. The earth at the base of the godstone is scarred, like a struggle occurred. Merchants, no dredge. And circling dangler are a variety of goods, a barrel of mead, who knows how old. Loose silver, a statue made of soapstone. Offerings to a dead god. Let's check for the merchant's brother. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin to find five golden rings strung around it. The merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it. Let's take it with the intent to return it. We're viral of our word. You toss the necklace to Mogir and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. Don't know what made them think the godson be safe, Mogir grunts. We're completely exposed up here, he says. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. Let's examine it. Dingler was always one of the favorites amongst men, god of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually, you move on. Oh, man. We got more morale now, though. Yeah. That's good. And uh, that's all we got for this one. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Should we camp? Oh, man, probably. Or I guess we can wait till we yeah. get the next little camp right. section. You know, yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys next time. This is Double XP. I'm Nap. I'm Chase. Bye, guys. Bye.